All right, so I told myself I was going to leave some of these projects to the pros, but this one did look pretty easy, so I decided to tackle it myself. Okay, so I thought with the new uh, 30 PSI pressure relief valve I would have solved my problems, but I am finding that the pressure is still purging water. So now it's time to check the uh, expansion tank. The bottom should be full of air, and it's not. It's full of water, which means the bladder failed. So I've already killed the power, I've turned off the cold water, and now I'm going to close off that valve and remove that expansion tank. So if this expansion tank is full of water, that's about 8 gallons, let's just say 8 or 9 pounds per gallon, I think it'll weigh about 70 pounds. So I'm going to use a little tool to remove the uh, inside of the Schrader valve and drain it in the buckets. And if I do this right and I'm lucky, that thing should be very light when I'm done. Oh, I have turned off the power, I've turned off the water supply, I've closed off the valve up here. I've got as much water out of here as I can. I think it might still be heavy, but I'm going to unscrew it and um, hopefully that doesn't come crashing down on me. I'm going to loosen the tank, so i got to do this with a wrench first. Alright, so I've got a couple pipe wrenches on it that will help me loosen this thing up. All right, I should be able to loosen it by hand now. Okay, I've got it loosened now at the top. I should be able to unscrew it by hand. But I'm gonna keep underneath it because it could be heavy when it drops. It's pretty loose. Okay, so apparently, even by removing all the air pressure, that did not remove the pressure on the bladder, and I got water everywhere, probably two or three gallons, and then uh, the buckets are capturing the rest. So, next time, if I want to close off that valve, well, I actually probably want to leave that valve open, drain out all the air pressure, close the water to your furnace, and then wait until you see the pressure of your system is down. Uh, that surprised me. Okay, but let's get uh, let's get the new uh, new tank on. Clearly, there's something wrong with that pressure tank. Okay, I've got my new X Troll uh, X60 expansion tank. It's the same model as the previous one. It is precharged 12 psi. So I'm gonna go ahead and hand screw it. The last one was pretty tight. I'm just going to leave this one hand tight. It's pretty firm. Alright, the system looks good. So now I'm going to turn the cold water or the water back on to pressurize the tank. Now it's reconnected to the system. I'm going to turn the boiler back on and I'm going to monitor this to see if I've solved my uh, pressure relief valve releasing water problem. I'll keep an eye on it, but that's all there is to it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. 